Hi there. Today we are going to go over six hidden features within Walling that can increase your productivity and you can utilize to increase your efficiency while using Walling. Number one is the jump to feature. Now this can be most efficiently used when you have a wall with many sections such as this one right here. Um, there is a jump to button right at the top here that you can then click which section you'd like to go to. So if you want to go to ideas, you can just click it right there. You can also rearrange sections in the jump to panel as well, just by clicking on these little six dots right here and dragging. This is just a faster way to reorganize your sections really easily. This can be much faster than the traditional way of grabbing them by the node and then dragging them below and around as you'd like. You can also collapse all of your sections with the collapse all feature. And as you can see here, there's actually a keyboard shortcut for it. So you just do control shift K and it will minimize all of your sections. Number two is comments. Um, now you can put comments basically on anything within a brick. As you can see, if you go into the options panel for a specific brick, the comments ability is not actually there, but rather in the specific blocks of the brick. So if you go into say this paragraph right here and hit add comment, you can add your comment right here and you're done. You can also tag people specifically. This just makes it a lot easier for you to communicate to your team what you're specifically talking about, what you want to discuss. Um, you can also easily hide comments just by hitting hide comments and that way it's a little bit more cleaner. So when you're going about and you see that you have comments, you can just click it open and there they are and then you can hide them again. Number three is editing your bookmarks. So that can be done um, on all bookmark links and embed links that you put into Walling. If you go to the three dots next to the embedded link, uh, you can actually hit edit embed and so you can change your title of your link uh, to something more relevant to what you have this link serving for. So for this, I'm gonna change it to cupboard and you can actually even change the photo to anything you'd like as well. This I'm gonna leave because I want this visual example to be here. You can also just remove the title altogether should you wanna do that. And then you're left with just the subheader pulled from the website page and the link. Number four is color coding. You can color code just about anything in Walling. If you want to color code a brick, you just hit the three dots and you can change the color. You can also color code a tag. So let's create a new tag <clears throat> and we can choose a color for that. You can also edit pre-existing colors and that will be carried over to all other usages of the tag. You can color code Kanban columns and you can also color code tables and that includes the columns and the rows. So you can get pretty crazy with the color coding. <laughs> Number five is Markdown Keyboard Shortcuts. The pound symbol will create a heading one, heading two pound symbols will create a heading two, heading a dash, followed by a space will create a bulleted list, and so will the asterisk followed by a space. Both create bulleted lists. If you do one period, that will create a numbered list. If you do a left bracket and a right bracket, that will create a checkbox. If you do three dashes, that will create a divider line. A right kick caret will create a quote block. And three apostrophes will create a uh, code block. And really, if you spend the time to master the markdown shortcuts, this can really speed up your workflow when it comes to typing and formatting within Walling as you go along. Just being able to use those markdown shortcuts instead of having to navigate within the insert panel, uh, you can just do it all right here very quickly, very easily. And lastly, number six is checklist item notes. To add a checklist item note, all you have to do is just navigate to your checklist, checklist item and then you hit shift enter and then you can add your note here. And this can be very useful to segment your main idea and main point of the checklist item uh, and the sort of secondary notes that go along with it. And that's it. I hope that some of these uh, hidden features will help you in your productivity with walling. Have a good one.